Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Freeland here. Hey, today we're going to work on books that we're writing about something we're thinking about. And we're going to do um, books that have words in them and labels. Um, not this detailed as the uh, Barbie book I showed you earlier. Oh, look at those Barbies and those cars. Woo, amazing. But they do have labels next to them. But we're going to keep it more simple. So we're going to write about things that we know. And we're going to write about numbers, shapes, and colors. And you're going to choose. So you're going to think about what you're going to write about, picture it. And then we're going to make a book about that. So you get to add as many pages as you want. And you're going to think about what you're going to write about, numbers, shapes, or colors. And then we're going to think about things that might go on our page. So here's an example. If we're going to make a color book, we might write about the color yellow. We might have a yellow sun. We might have a yellow banana. Can't tell what this is, but it's a lemon. Might have a yellow school bus. We might have a yellow pencil. But boys and girls, I need to add labels to those pictures. So I'm going to add some words. And remember, we can use our ABC chart to help us think of how to stretch out those words. And we want to listen for the beginning, middle, and end of those words so that we can spell them with the most sounds that we hear. So I'm going to start off with sun. I hear the S sound. Sun. Uh, 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 mm. And then I'm going to put a label next to my picture. Banana. That's a tough word. B, b, uh, n, and na. Right? Banana. Oh, oh, lemon. Notice how I'm stretching the words. I'm starting with a, I'm saying I'm really slow and trying to let, think every time my mouth moves in the word, it's a different sound. So, O E M B B B A There we go. P P N S O Right? So boys and girls, I know that maybe you're going to draw some things that maybe you know, that are more difficult to spell. But don't let that stop you. Don't say, oh, I don't want to draw that because it's too hard to write it. Right? Do, sound it out the best you can. On the number page, you could do a number like one and draw one of something. You could do the number two and draw two of something. Um, this would be for a color book, right? Um, you could do an ABC book um, like this person did an alphabet book all about frogs, right? But you could do things that start with A, things that start with B, and each page would be a different letter of the alphabet. So boys and girls, we're going to have, kind of have fun. You get to work on your own book. It could be a color book, a number book, or a letter book. And we're going to draw pictures and add labels. How fun is that? I bet you'll do a great job.